911. What is your emergency? I'm going eastbound on MLK uh, right before 301, and there is a pickup truck driving backwards. I mean, he's going with the flow of traffic, but he's driving backwards down the road. And just wait till you hear why. You can't make these stories up. And that's about the best way we can set up today's Staying Safe segment. Things that happen along the way that are funny and just too strange to, be, to be believed. Colonel Chad Cronus from the Hillsborough County Sheriff's <laughs> Office is with us this morning to, uh, to talk about it. Hey, Chad, we got four clips here, and we're going to just show them, hear them, and talk about them, okay? <laughs> that's, that's the best. Let's have some fun. All right. <laughs> Let's start with that. The guy driving in reverse. We had heard the 911 call. What was happening here? Why was he going backwards? We've gotten a ton of phone calls. He was going the right direction, just backwards. So after five miles, we're finally able to get him stopped. He gets out of the car surprised, like, why are you stopping me? And uh, turns out that he was driving backwards because he ran over a log, damaged his transmission, and the truck would only go in reverse. But he had to be somewhere. So in the car and off he went. And apparently he did a pretty good job uh, looking in his mirrors and turning his head once in a while. But then other times, uh, apparently he didn't do so well and he was all over the road. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get to the next one. This is um and this one's kind of creepy to me because you can you can see the face pretty good and we're talking about the the doorbell bandit. This is a guy who was in the neighborhoods, uh, breaking into cars, breaking into homes, and these new doorbells that have the cameras installed, like great devices. I guess he didn't want to leave without trying to steal it. So there he is with his handy dandy flashlight. He's got his wire clippers and he has his, his screwdriver. And before he leaves the neighborhood, he makes sure he takes the, the doorbell uh, camera. So here, here you have a case where the camera took photos and uh, video of the person stealing in the camera. Wow. That's creepy. I mean, that's just, that's a little creepy. That's creepy. Hey, great devices. They work, they work great. Yeah, yeah you see exactly he... who did it. You see exactly who's stealing your doorbell. Um, the man crying for help. Hey, listen, I have to tell you, when I heard it, I thought it was someone crying for help, too. I have to be honest with everybody. A woman calls 911 and says uh, there's someone calling for help in the woods. So deputies go screaming over there, run into the woods. And, and, and if you can hear that, it really does sound like someone's calling for help. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, nobody was calling for help. It was just it was just a goat, but the deputies had to film it because it, it sounded so real. And, and let's let's talk about this. If you're in your house at night and you hear that out in the woods, I mean, you might think that, right? Absolutely, it would scare me too. I, I, when they showed it to me, they told me close your eyes. We want you to hear something. I thought it was someone calling for help too. <laughs> All right, and then I think this is my favorite one, the one that's coming up, just because. It's just, it's just great, and you've got such great video of it. This is the, the guys who are trying to steal the ATM from the Walgreens. Yes, uh, two guys go to a, a Walgreens in the Citrus Park area. Uh, you'll see that they bash in, the, break the front door, take their chain, tie one end of their van, one end of the ATM. So think they have it, right? It's in, it's in the bag. Let's take that ATM. Well, they didn't count on the fact that the ATM is bolted to the ground. So they tried it again. Okay, let's hit it even harder. Well, <laughs> the only thing that they got that night was a broken chain, thank, thankfully. <laughs> no one was hurt in any of these stories. Please tell me nobody got hurt. No, it's okay to laugh. Nobody was hurt, but we had to show them. You know, sometimes we talk about stuff and it's just so serious. It's nice to have a little fun today and be lighthearted. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hey, good to see you, okay? Good to see you guys. Have a great rest of the week. You too. Happy Easter, man. Take you care. Too. I love you. Thank Bye -bye. you. Love you.